Hey everyone, good good evening. I think we're live. I'm just looking here. I think there's like way too much light, not enough light. There we go. How's it going? Welcome. Good evening. It is a Tuesday, Tuesday, August 6, 2019. How are you? Yeah, that's right. New camera. Well, back to the old camera. We're firing up the old uh, the old studio setup here, the old studio rig. So we're just uh, trying this out. We've got a live show to do tomorrow. So, uh, you know, why not take care of business today? So with that being said, how are you? Welcome. So today is Tuesday and it is Tuesday. I confirmed it. Two different people. They said it is Tuesday. So we're not at a loss there. Okay. So Tuesday, leadership in the news. And I know we're still dealing with the aftermath of this weekend. We're still dealing with the whole nonsense of guns and guns in in America, guns in our lives, guns in the world, but um, mass killings and, and you know, they're going to find a way. You take the guns away, they're going to find a way. Uh, look at what happened in, in Berlin, my second hometown, uh, a couple of Christmases ago. They didn't use any weapons, they used a truck. If there's a will, there's a way, they're going to find it. And we've got to really look at this for what it is. And uh, there's more issues than just the weapons that they pick. It's the people and what their belief system is. And does it correlate and does it does it correlate to what we believe in? Uh, preserving life, uh, peace. And it's when it doesn't and when it doesn't jive, that's where we have problems and that's where we need to do our work to identify it. So that being said, we're going to move on. Okay, so in today's news, in today's leadership in the news, and I'm talking about, well, again, it's a business in the business sector. I'm talking about the Walgreens, the Walgreens, the giant uh, drugstore, corner drugstore just about in every city, or at least at least 9,600 locations. Uh, you're going to find them on a street corner or the majority of that. You know, that. That's the one thing they did right. They went out and sought out, and they acquired that real estate. Of the street corner because again why sell on one street when you can sell on two and uh, so kudos to them <clears throat> and pretty much everybody else bought into the hype after that as far as um, street corners go because yeah, uh, that's somewhere along the line when it came to street corners someone had an idea and then Walgreens said hey that's a good idea excuse me a little parched okay so what's going on they just announced that they're going to close 200 stores. Now they're keeping the seek they're keeping the location secret, but 200 stores are three percent of the entire uh, Walgreens uh, store locations across the United States. Um, they say uh, they're doing this quote transformational cost management program end quote, and it's uh, in an effort to accelerate transformation of their business into a more efficient enterprise transformational cost management program hmm what does that mean what does that mean transformational cost management so they're transforming the way they do they spend money or the way they gain money or is that just way of saying you know the stores that are not performing are out the door and they, you know they're, they're getting the bottom three percent I get that it that makes sense in in a business world that makes sense you know so again uh, 200 stores, about what, uh, 12, 12 to 20, depending, about 20 to 30 employees. So we're looking at about uh, 6,000, 6, is that about right? Yeah, give or take. So 6,000 unemployed. Interesting what they're doing now. Are they going to shift them around? Are they going to give them the opportunity to, to be absorbed into other locations that have vacancies? I sure as heck hope so. That'll, that'll definitely go a long way. But again, the organization is not revealing a lot of information. This this disclosure came from an SEC filing that they did recently, and it said this is what they're going to do, and they're going to close these 200 stores. The bottom, well, what I say, the bottom 3%, why would you close the, the top 3%, you know, the ones that are actually making you money? <clears throat> that being said, in a business setting, um, we're talking like in real estate, a real estate company who has one real one one main person, and then they have all these other agents that are working for that one main individual, the founder of the company, and <clears throat> again, the bottom individuals are not performing consistently, not performing. Guess what? That's right, they're out the door. Same thing in a car lot, uh, car. Um, yeah, you, new car sales or even used car sales. Anybody in a, in a car lot, anybody's in the car sales industry, 
um, again, the same thing. Those salespeople that are not performing, that are not bringing in the money, they're out the door. The bottom ones get laid off and they got to go. Sorry, you're not performing. It's not going to work out. You don't fit in with the culture of sales. It happens. It happens every day. So what's the spin on this? Well, it's what happens to those individuals. Uh, are those, you know, let's look at what the management and leadership does. And sometimes management, remember, management and leadership sometimes are not the same individual. See what they do. See what they do with those individuals. Do they find them other locate other jobs within the organization? So what if this person is not a good stalker, but you know what? They're one heck of an inventory clerk. Make them an inventory if that's possible. So again, again, right now, the, the word is still new. It's still fresh from Walgreens. Not too sure what's happening there. But for the most part, something is going to happen. Something that, well, might be beneficial, might not be beneficial, but we'll find out. It's too early to speculate. All we do know is they are closing their stores. So again, just putting my leadership spin on it and just looking at things in a more optimistic, optimistic way of saying, hey, let's fill in some of these gaps someplace else. So with that being said, I think that's pretty much it. I, th I think that the prevailing news is just kind of putting a, a damper on everything. But for the most part, you know, we're moving forward. We have to keep moving forward. We can't stop, but we have to keep making progress. And working together is how we make progress. Folks, I'm Dave Guerra. This is my daily Let's Have a Chat. And today it was all about leadership in the news. And we're talking about Walgreens and the 200 store closures across the United States, or 3% of all stores that they own and operate. So if it's yours, sorry, you might have to travel a little bit further. If it's not yours, keep, keep, keep spending money there because, again, that's what makes things happen. That's how the wheels keep turning. So listen, until tomorrow where it's uh, Walking Leader Wednesday, I read from my book, though, Where's my book? I moved it. It's somewhere around here. I know it is. Anyway, I moved my book. It's great to follow. Um, get yourself a copy if you haven't already done so. Until then, folks, I thank you for stopping by. Thanks for your time. Have a good evening. Have a good Wednesday. I'll talk to you soon.